Dina, you know, we've done a lot of reporting on this kind of initiative. We know that Sam Altman was looking at chips, but actually what's new here is the focus on capacity, future capacity. Yes, that's right. So in the kind of wake of the Sam Altman ouster, we, you know, uh, Ed, you and a couple of other reporters reported this chip initiative. But I think the belief or assumption was that what OpenAI would be doing here is similar to what Microsoft is doing, is similar to what Google does, is similar to what AWS and Annapurna does, which is design their own artificial intelligence chips. In reality, what we hear from our sources is that what Altman is trying to address is the chip shortage, uh, that there's not enough uh, fabrication capacity to make enough chips. Now, that's been going on for a while, but what OpenAI and Sam Altman want to address is actually not the current shortage. It's, uh, you know, what our sources tell us, uh, Altman fears that there will be a significant shortage a couple of years out from now. So when we come to the end of the decade, if artificial intelligence is as pervasive as Sam Altman thinks it will be, if you remember, he's very focused on heading towards AGI, artificial general intelligence, then there will simply not be, in his view, enough processors for what he thinks is going to go on at that point. There, there are still many questions about how mechanically this would work, right? Uh, you know, what I'm hearing, you're hearing, is that there's all these talks with all kinds of investors to raise a huge sum of money, tens and tens of billions of dollars, but in reality, it's not just as simple as saying, OK, great, we've got the funds. Let's build a load of chip factories wherever we want. You know, the market is dominated by TSMC, Samsung and a hopeful newcomer in Intel. What do we know about what's on the table here in terms of the proposed way this would work? So what we're hearing is that Altman is now on a stage of, as you say, putting together sort of a group of partners. So some of that is the capital, the investors, who's going to fund all of this. And some of that is is talking to the existing chip fab companies. We're not, you know, we're not hearing that OpenAI wants to, you know, uh, start learning how to pour concrete or anything like that. This is a really complicated business with really just about three competitors in it, and uh, you know, it takes a ton of expertise to do. So what we're hearing is that the idea would be to work with the people that know how to do this, but again, to figure out a way to dramatically expand the capacity so that five years from now, the industry doesn't find that it's not in a position uh, to, to produce what's necessary in all this view. Uh, Dino, I just want to relay to our audience that OpenAI, Intel, SoftBank, TSMC, Microsoft, uh, and G42, which is a firm that we had reported in the past, wanted to give Sam Altman money for this did not respond to Bloomberg's request to comment or declined to comment. Samsung in particular, just a key name in the fab space, didn't respond to our request for comment. But the takeaway that I have is that forget what happened with Sam Altman's short uh, departure from OpenAI and then return. He's able to go out there and talk to people, raise money, and come up with these big plans, which let's be honest, this is a bold move in the context of how chip manufacturing actually works. Right, absolutely. And he was obviously in Davos this week, so we will see if anything comes out of any meetings there as he tries to put together some sort of consortium behind this. You mentioned Microsoft. Uh, you know, we have reported previously and have reported again today that Altman has um, held talks with Microsoft about this idea and that uh, the software giant uh, remains interested. Um, you know, potentially in being being a part of it. Again, they declined to comment as well. But, you know, what we're reporting, in, in what we're reporting, you see Sam um, trying to put together the pieces of what he would need to do this, to, to put together financial backing. As we mentioned in the story, there have also been talks with SoftBank um, and to, to put together the expertise around uh, chip manufacturing. And as you said, this is a this is a much more dramatic uh, initiative, and there's various forecasts for the the AI chip um, field. Uh, you know, there are some people who feel that there there will not be enough, um, and there are some people that feel that the the industry is on a tra trajectory to increase the number of AI chips that are manufactured that that will be just fine. 